When you see a ghost forest for the first time, you're struck by how eerie it is. It's sort of like a ghost town. This ground is now too salty and too wet to, to support living trees. One of, the, one of the best indicators of climate change anywhere in the world is you see pictures of where a glacier was 100 years ago, and then you see a picture of it now, and the glacier has retreated a mile. But here we've got dead trees that mark where the land was 10, 20, 50 years ago. And so they're the most striking indicator that I know of of climate change anywhere on the East Coast. But only recently have scientists been documenting how fast they're dying and how fast the forest is retreating. When the tree uh, was young, it was growing very fast. These rings are spread wide apart. And then as the tree became older and probably subject to more salt and waterlogged soils, now the tree rings are really, really small. So this tree is barely growing now. This vigorous, thick shrub layer is actually one of the first indicators that a forest is in trouble. And at this point, We've transitioned from being in a forest to actually being in a real full-fledged marsh. The rate of forest retreat has accelerated. It's, it's tripled or quadrupled over the last hundred years. And that acceleration in the forest retreat can be attributed directly to climatic-driven rising sea levels. People like some of my family members have, have watched the marsh encroaching closer and closer to their house every year. From a combination of, of factors, both economic and I would say climatic, people in this community have, have moved out through time and it's left behind a lot of things like this church, like the schoolhouse down the road, a lot of the homes you see here. They're all, they're all memories of what the place used to look like. And in a lot of ways, the trees are telling us that, that those same memories, the trees are showing us what the land used to look like. Every, every few decades, that, that rate accelerates. And I think the, the formation of the ghost forests will continue to accelerate. And if you either don't know your history or don't pay real close attention, in a hundred years, you might not know that a forest was ever here. <laughs>